Hello, I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. My name is Nate Betcher, and I am the President and CEO of Pierce Pepin Cooperative Services and our subsidiary, Swift Current Connect. We're attempting a new format this year, providing an opportunity for me to deliver the annual cooperative update electronically. If you can join us for the annual meeting on April 18th, we encourage you to do so. Otherwise, this video will be available for you to watch when it's convenient for you. 2023 marks another great year for your cooperative. We believe the cooperative has three pillars, our members, our directors, and our staff. Our staff is the backbone of the cooperative. In the past couple of years, we have added 13 new positions to the cooperative. Many of these have come because of our broadband business, but we have also invested significantly in our electric operations as well. We hired a master electrician, a second electrician, and a load control te technician to further develop our abilities to support our members and to continue to reinvest in our load control program. Later this year, you will hear more about our electrician services and our partnership with Generac, which provides market-leading backup power generation through their line of generators. Our staff has been busy over the past year, not only keeping up with our electric operations, but also in driving our broadband business forward. Our broadband investment has helped increase our total assets to over 86 million, up 22 million from just a few years ago. This investment doesn't occur without our employees, support from our directors, and contractors that help build this fiber network. I'd like to take a few minutes to highlight several projects from this past year. If you've driven down River Road over the past six months, you will notice at the intersection of Highway 35 and County Road K that our two megawatt solar field has been completed. This project, known as the Trutman Field Solar Array, will power homes for many years to come. Later this year, we will be holding a ribbon cutting ceremony and we encourage you to join us for that event. Just across the street and near the Trenton substation, our crews have been working on a project to bring one of the first, if not the first, data center to Pierce County. This data center will help be home to processors that will deliver artificial intelligence or AI, virtual reality or VR, and do Bitcoin mining. This project will come online later this year and increase our overall load by an additional one to two megawatts. Later this year, Pierce Pepin will also power a biogas digester located just outside of River Falls. We fully support biogas projects that can help take manure, food scraps, and other manufacturing byproducts to remove the gas from these projects and return a more sustainable and better product back to our agricultural community. Our roots as an electric cooperative are based on the foundation of serving rural America. Rural America helps feed this country through crops and livestock. Our Pierce Pepin farmers need our support and they need less interference from those who want to create policies that undermine their ability to run successful and profitable operations. We believe in economic growth and helping our community. There has been a lot of controversy over the past several months regarding the proposed digester in Ellsworth by the Danish company Bigadan. We are disappointed but support the decision for Bigadan to withdraw their application for the biogas facility in Ellsworth. This was a significant load opportunity for Pierce Pepin that would have allowed us to continue providing affordable energy to our members. Throughout the process, Bigadan had been transparent about their safety record, community commitment, and desire to support our local agricultural producers. It's not every day that a company is willing to invest $80 million into infrastructure, create both construction and permanent jobs, and provide nearly $14 million of payments to help transform and grow the village of Ellsworth. This is a setback for Ellsworth, but hopefully an opportunity for others to step up, step forward with their vision for the future and demonstrate leadership. We are fortunate to have a community asset of the Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery and its leaders are local ag producers and outside entities that are willing to invest in our community. As we have seen with our broadband business, it takes money and hard work to do something positive. We encourage our communities to find a way to work together to improve the lives of everyone that lives and works here. Leadership has been on full display with our very own Liz Gunderson. Over the past couple of years, Liz has been our champion for the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, which provides books each month to children ages zero to five. Earlier this year, legislation was signed to provide additional funds across the state for programs like the Dolly Parton program. 
I am proud for, of Liz for all of the work and leadership that she has demonstrated to make this happen. Over the past year, we have also been working to convert the last of our remaining meters to our me new metering platform. This is a significant milestone, allowing us to use one set of tools and software to manage our system. The valuable data that is provided to us helps us respond to outages more quickly and allows us to have better insight into our electrical load at much more frequent increments. We have recently applied for funding as part of the federal state infrastructure programs to help invest additional money into projects that allow us to improve reliability and utilize tools in the field that help us more quickly troubleshoot line issues, conduct switching, and overall improve our responsiveness. Last summer, we took on an ambitious project of renovating the rest of our appliance showroom that has largely sat empty. We reconfigured our front desk setup to provide more security and more cohesiveness with our team. The renovations also allowed us to add a new boardroom, which I am sitting here in today. It also allows us to provide more access to the public, allows us to host public meetings and provide new techn technology to work more efficiently. We encourage you to stop in and check it out. Swift Current Connect, our broadband subsidiary, is now entering the third year of operation. We connected our first customer on January 31st of 2022. Since that time, we have built over 800 miles of fiber, serving more than 7,000 locations. With the recent award by the Wisconsin Public Service Commission, we will be building another 400 miles and passing by 2,600 more locations. Swift Current Connect is more than just an internet company. We are providing valuable connections that allow people to do work from home, conduct telemedicine, and ditch expensive cable and satellite TV contracts. We even provide phone service for which many people still provides a convenient option for someone to call your home or your business. Make no mistake, we are aware of the amount of funding that it takes to build 800 miles and soon to be 1,200 miles of fiber. The support of our directors in this endeavor has allowed us to do this on an aggressive scale. Over the next year, Swift Current will provide the, will provide the co-op over $2 million in revenue to repay the investment the cooperative has made. Each year and with each customer, this amount will continue to increase. Swift Current was a profitable, profitable business last year, and it will continue to be profitable in the future. We expect over $3 million of revenue in 2024. And along the way, we have created new jobs, new economic impact, and allowed our community to be a poster child for the impact of high-speed internet. Lastly, I'd like to take a few minutes to comment on the final days of Roger Wythe, our board chair. I will say a few words during the meeting, but I also wanted to ensure that our members heard here on this video as well. Roger has been an amazing director for the cooperative, serving two different stints totaling 26 years. During that time, he served as chair of the board for 23 years. Roger's leadership isn't just shown once a month. Roger lives and breathes Pierce Pepin. I recently wished him happy birthday, to which he responded, thank you. Have you heard from the business we were talking about last week during our board meeting? That is Roger to a T. I was thinking about the co-op, making sure we are staying on top of things and there to provide guidance and wisdom. Last fall, in honor of Roger, we named our new boardroom the Roger Whiff Boardroom, fitting for a person who has spent many hours, days, months, and years guiding the cooperative. On a personal note, I will miss Roger. Although I suspect he will still take my call, he has been gracious in so many ways to me personally and professionally. My kids have both met Roger, for which he to them is known as the judge, because he is the one who gets to use the gavel. He's there to share his wisdom about his favorite old comedy routines or the latest episode of Yellowstone or even his famous brisket recipe. Lastly, I owe my time at Pierce Pepin to the board of directors and their support, but I also know that none of that would have happened without Roger's blessing in making sure the board had an opportunity to meet me during the interview process. I'll never forget him asking me during the interview as he was showing me the area, do you think we should get into the internet business? To which I replied, oh, well, I don't think we should. It's a tough business, lots of infrastructure costs, and it's tough for electric cooperatives to think like a competitive business. Well, the rest of the story is history, but I believe the support of the board and that of Roger has fundamentally shifted our culture for the better around serving our members, and that is a legacy that he will always be a part of. I want to thank you for being a member of the cooperative. 
We are doing a lot of great things and helping to serve our members and the community. We don't get it right all the time, but we are continuing to work at building, growing, and making our cooperative a great place for our members, our directors, and our employees. We thank you for your trust, and we hope that all of you take time to stay updated on your cooperative as we continue to move into the future. On behalf of the directors and our staff, thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this, and I wish you all of the best. Take care.